In this video I will show how to install Windows Messenger 5.1 on a Windows 7 machine. These are the computer properties of the machine used, which is a Dell Inspiron N7110 from the year 2011. As you can see this is a 64-bit version of Windows 7 Ultimate, but these instructions apply to all 32 and 64-bit versions of Windows Vista, 7 and 10. It will probably work for Windows 8, 11 and Windows Server versions starting with 2008 and higher too. You only need a few files, which I will show you now. The first one is obviously the installation file called messenger.msi. Here I will be using the English version, but I have also archived the Dutch version. The next file which you will need is called phone.reg, which I will explain later. I have archived these files myself long time ago, but you should still be able to find them on the internet. For the next step you will need some instructions, which I found on an excellent blog from Keith Balamban, which is online as to date, link can be found in the comments. Now I will start with the installation. I accidentally skipped using the switch slash A. Let's see if this makes any difference. I will start the program and add a VoIP slash SIP account.
As you can see I am signed in and online. I should be able to receive VoIP calls now. However, I am not able to make outgoing calls yet, since there is no option available for this. This is where the file phone.reg comes in. The content of which, I will show you now. After merging this file into the registry and restarting the program you will see that there is an option available to make phone calls. I will make a call to my landline number in the Netherlands to demonstrate that it is working. Hello. No one is available to answer your call at the moment. Please leave a message after the tone. Although you could not hear my voice, since I didn't capture the microphone output of this laptop with my screen recording program, which is Microsoft Expression Encoder 4, the call was successful. Also, the current user needs to have temporary administrator rights in order to merge the .reg file. I have used Betamax VoIP provider Ringa in this video, but it should work for other VoIP accounts too. I prefer to use SIP accounts on my home network using a Fritzbox or an old Synology with asterisk installed on it. With Windows Messenger I am able to call VoIP users using a telephone number only, where I would like to call SIP addresses in email format too. With old Nokia phones like the E-Series this can be done quite easily. Next step is to have presence and chat working with Windows Messenger. One option is to use Exchange Server 2000, but I would like to have it working with SIP only. If anyone knows how to achieve this, Using a Fritz box or asterisk I would really like to know. I did find some instructions on the net, but they weren't sufficient until now. After finishing the first version of this video I noticed that I wasn't able to sign in with some non-Betamax SIP slash VoIP accounts. I will show what was the problem for two of these accounts and how I resolved it. First one is an account from CheapConnect. 
The second account is a local IP phone account on my Fritzbox. As you can see I configured the second account on even an older version of MS software which is MS Portrait. The reason why I am using both Windows Messenger and MS Portrait is because I also discovered that Windows Messenger is not capable of receiving incoming calls on this machine, the program hangs. However, MS Portrait, which software may be covered in another video from me, does handle incoming calls well, whereas I did not succeed in making outgoing calls with MS Portrait using a normal telephone number until now.